before start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media and if you have any question or inquiry you can write it down there in the comment section or contact me directly at my Instagram so if we look together at the visa policy of South Sudan first click over this link here and this page will open in front of you you can see that only Egypt Kenya and Tanzania can travel to South Sudan without any visas there are also some countries that can get a visa on arrival and they're all African countries like Botswana Eritrea uh, Ethiopia and Rwanda for the rest of the world either applying from uh, United States, uh, North American countries, South American countries, rest of African countries, Europe, Asia, Australia, you need to apply for electronic visa. So in order to apply for electronic visa for South Sudan, this is the official website, just click over this link here. This page will appear in front of you. First, you will have to create an account first, click create an account. okay okay you create an account as a foreigner then you give all the details here okay your passport one second first name last name any other names if exist gender email address mandatory rebate repeat email address password Make sure to give a strong password, capital letters, small letters, numbers and signs. Nationality, choose your nationality here. If you're applying from India, for example, so choose Indian, whatever nationality it is, just select it. Agree on terms and conditions and create your account. Okay, this one already registered. One one two two one one. Okay, password again. Create account. okay all text persons and foreigners business okay and now your account is created in this platform so after registering you need to apply for the visa choose the section directory of civil registry nationality and passport and immigration click get service and you will find the service the e-visa service here click e-visa service okay this is the application form they are okay they are telling you about all the documents that you will need requirements for south sudan e-visa like letter of invitation valid travel document not less than six months certificate of uh, youth, uh yellow fever certificate then you just need to read all these sections click next start filling all the information surname given name date of birth okay this date for example place of birth country of birth let's keep with India gender marital status single 
dual nationality okay it doesn't exist no then nationality India then click next gender okay next okay so personal details as in passport nationality next again okay uh, personal detail passport type regular passport passport number place of issue date of issue let's say the first of this month expiry date will be which year that year that month that day for example country of issue let's keep with India then click next okay passport details uh, I was saying have you previously applied for South Sudan visa no visa type requested single entry visa purpose of visit just tourism date of intended arrival in South Sudan let's say this day for example uh, duration of intended stay in South Sudan let's say one month date of departure from South Sudan let's say that day mode of transportation by air select point of entry Juba International Airport then click next okay your professional details present occupation occupation title employer name employer address employer phone number zero one zero zero two two one one two two one one employer your name gives the name click next me see the not sure why maybe capital letters is requested oh I'm sorry it's employer email at gmail dot com okay then the visa uh, the present address contact information permanent country of origin address your phone number alternative number not necessary your official ma email then click next your family details okay surname next of other names of your father mother for example the address email then click next okay your travel history have you ever been uh, convicted of crime offense no have you ever been deported no have you ever been convicted of a sentence for a drug no have you ever committed uh, trafficking in person no are you suffering from no have you uh, been tested for COVID-19 I'll say no then click next okay here internet funds available for my stay in US dollars for example 1000 grantor type hotel gives the name of the hotel the details of the hotel the telephone number okay the email of this hotel address okay then click next okay 
passport photo you need to apply to upload your passport photocopy and it should be a jpg a picture upload passport bio data page okay other uploads if you want to upload uh, a certificate or something and covid19 test certificate if you have okay there are also okay test certificate for covid19 this one is mandatory then click here preview oh yellow fever also certificate is mandatory upload uh, guarantors reservation upload okay then click preview okay now you can view your application over here this is your complete application then click complete and okay this is your bill this is how you pay for this service for your application this is the amount in us uh, dollars if you are going to pay in debit card just click here and give the number of your card the value through and the cvc code and make your payment and that's how you apply for visa for the online visa for south sudan in this section we will speak about all the documents that you will need to apply for any visa but before we start please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel share this video and if you have any question write it in the comment section down there or contact me at my account at instagram the first document that you will need is your passport make sure that your passport is valid for six months and at least two pages are empty for the stamps and your photo and your details in your passport are clear you will also need photocopies of your passport make sure that you have at least three photocopies and mainly they will ask for a photocopy for the data pages but sometimes the foot a photocopy of the stamps and the other visas in your passport will be required you will also need a personal picture make sure that your picture is new not older than six months and it's preferred that your picture be with a white background except if they tell you something else and your face details must be clear in your picture you will have to submit a visa application form it could be online or filled by computer then printed and signed or printed then filled manually then signed all depend on the kind of the visa you're applying for you will have also to submit a proof of status if you are an employee you will need to submit an hr letter signed from your company stating your position and your salary and all the details of your company if you are the business owner you need to provide all uh, the document that prove that you have your own business if you are a student then you will need to submit uh, an admission letter from your university if you are a minor you need a letter of permission from your parents and if you are jobless then you will need to uh, prove uh, your source of fund you will need to provide a proof of legal status only if you are applying from another country so if you are traveling as a tourist or visitor or working in another country then you will have to submit either a visa or uh, a residence permit in this country a proof of funds is also required it could be a bank statement and it should cover at least the last the last six months of your account and it should be signed and stamped from your bank you will be asked sometimes to submit a flight reservation and it should be a round trip and it could be either a confirmed ticket or a dummy ticket and i will teach you how to make both of them confirm a ticket and also a dummy ticket there are many websites that you can use for booking your flight uh, ticket and in this uh, video we will use 
kayak site of course there are many other sites uh, like sky scanner and you can also book directly from a flight company itself so here let's assume okay our flight is return so it's like round of flight and only for one adult and our destination from Cairo let's say to Karachi Pakistan and let's use the dates okay these dates are fine search and now the site is searching for the flights there are many expensive flights but we will try to find cheap one so we can see this flight okay click here for the cheapest this flight from Lethad is very cheap so we will need to view the details of this flight just click over view details okay and we will be directed to this website budget air where we will have to make our booking okay i accept this is a site okay i already used the flight now i have to fill my details as the passenger and this is the price in uh, the emirate uh, durham but we already knew the price in us dollars here we need to fill our details all our details name your name date of birth and whatever whatever just as an example i just want to show you how to make a booking using this random site and okay okay we have to fill more details here in this section uh, you can pay more money so uh, in case you want to cancel your your trip you can uh, get full fund okay passenger number expiry date okay that number okay and then click next now here my contact details you need to fill your contact details okay i have to fill these sections Wait. address line postal code city email retype the email and the phone number then next okay and you can pay for your flight now we have uh, to choose again okay this is the main price don't pay i don't want to pay any extra money you just choose it they keep remind uh, reminding you do you want to pay extra money for uh, a full refund and down there i will choose my booking i will choose the basic one because there is no extra charges i'm just trying to find the cheapest way and then click down there no thanks and then next and right now i am in the section where i have to make my payment first check your details my flight from here to there my details and in this section you need to fill uh, your credit card or visa card number and to make your payment then the ticket will be sent uh, to you by your uh, through your email so for those who want to learn how to make a dummy ticket not a confirmed ticket you can use this uh, website dummy ticket for making a dummy ticket and the whole idea behind a dummy ticket that once you make uh, a booking they buy the ticket for you with your details and they put it in on hold for 10 days or two weeks and after that your ticket will expire so it is a real ticket 
but it will expire after uh, a specific uh, period so you need to choose which ticket do you want uh, are you sure that you are going to travel then you make a confirmed ticket or you still not sure and afraid that you will lose money so you make uh, a dummy ticket so right now to start making a dummy ticket I think we need to click over uh, buy ticket this icon and in this section you have to choose the type of your ticket you want this ticket for applying for visa so we'll choose the first one and the price will be 19 us dollars and then down there we you will have to start filling all your details your name your surname your date of birth and so on okay then uh, uh, your travel details okay your departure date okay it's around the trip so from which city to which city your departure date your return date date and how you can also choose how you want to get this dummy ticket through email whatsapp or both of them and then you fill your billing details your personal details and down there you have to choose the way of paying for this ticket you can choose either paypal or debit and credit card just fill the details of your card and make your payment then you will receive your ticket uh, through either email or whatsapp a travel accommodation proof should also be provided sometimes it's asked to be confirmed sometimes it's okay to be an initial uh, booking uh, and sometimes some countries require you that this travel accommodation proof covers at least a third of your trip there are many websites for making a hotel booking but the most common website is booking.com you just need to choose your destination where to go uh, let's say Delhi New Delhi and then my check-in will be in these dates the first to the fifth for four nights and i want a place only for one adult all right done and start searching and you can see all the options down there and you can sort these options well, according to well, the price for example using the cheapest first so for example you can go for the cheapest prices first if you care about money and you can see many 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 cheap stuff uh, over here of course you can change the currency uh, from Egyptian bound to US, uh, to US dollars uh, or any other uh, currency and you need also to check uh, like the rank of all these uh, rooms so let's say that I will choose this hotel just click over it and then this page will appear in front of you you can see pictures of the place where you are going to stay and they will tell you the other things like there is Wi-Fi uh, there is a shower uh, there is AC so just go down there and now you can choose this is the price for four nights uh, and you can pay this number for one person or uh, another number for two person so yeah it's considered to be a very cheap price for two people now we can just select a room and once you select the room you will you, you will just click over I will reserve that you want to reserve this room all right and here in this section you will start filling all your details 
your detail over here all your details your name uh, uh, why you are traveling the reason of your trip and then once you finish it you go down there okay and then click over final details and once you click over it you don't have to pay of course because the payment will be in the property but you will have to confirm your booking and then they will send you a copy of your booking uh, through your email some countries especially european countries require you to provide a travel insurance so it should be made from a verified office or platform and as i told you it's not always necessary and it should cover your whole trip and some countries require you to uh, submit a travel insurance that covers a year and it should cover at least uh, 30,000 euros and that doesn't mean that its price should be 30,000 euro but I will clarify uh, to you when I teach you right now how to make a travel insurance there are many websites to make a uh, travel insurance uh, we are going to use AXA Schengen website for making this travel uh, insurance uh, so once you uh, get to the website you have just to choose you're making an insurance for only one person okay and you need to choose the, the dates from which day to which day and then get code and you then will find many options like there are we offer the first one that can cover for 30 uh, thousand euros this is the good one and this is the one which is required by european union for uh, 62 euros so this one is is very good but there are also other options like the other one with 70 uh, with 97 uh, euros and the other one for a full year for 30 for 328 uh, euros but uh, we will just go with uh, the first uh, option since it's uh, it, it is cheap and also uh, cover all uh, the essentials that we need wait so just click over select and once you select it you get to the section where you will have to fill all your details and then click confirm and pay and once you click confirm and pay you make your payment using your visa card visa card or mastercard and then you will receive this travel insurance through your email remember also that before applying for any visa you have to contact either the embassy or the application office and ask them if there is any extra documents required from you or is there is any uh, different documents or is there is any change in the visa application procedures because sometimes visa uh, procedure change from a country to another in the end please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video at your social media accounts and if you have any question or inquiry please write it down there at the comment section or contact me at my instagram